Hello guys, what's up? We are going to introduce our recent job. As we are watching video, we have an IP intercom here. Here is this PCB. Uh, this device works based on the unknown protocol and receive and send the audio really poor with the poor quality over the network. So we've tried to change this device to work based on the SIP, the standard protocol for the VoIP. There are many devices based on this IP. So as you can see in the video, we have the IP phone, we have the CP intercom. So we would like to make this device work based on the SIP protocol. As we know, so creating an embedded web server is also needs some resources. So because we don't have any extra flash or RAM, uh, we implemented the telnet on the device for setting up some items and the options on the device, setting the network, setting the CP account, setting also some definitions for the buttons also. Uh, on the next, I'm going to uh, talk about the items on the PCB as you are watching. So here is our chipset, the STM32 F103. You can see it here. It's the low cost and also you know that it's hard. Here is our Ethernet controller, DM9000. This is also for the Ethernet, the single port transformation module. Here we can see it. This is our E2P ROM. And this is our amplifiers for all the output and input. This is the push buttons and LED for some indication and statuses and some actions. Also, this is our hang-up switch because it's some handset, and those are our volume knobs. So, the first LED is our power indicator. The second one is shows the Ethernet status. Blinking shows the network is connected or not. And the third one, the third LED is for the SIP registration status. Uh, when you turn the device on, if it's registered to server, it's a start uh turning up but if it couldn't be registered on the server so it, it, it start blinking so also we have three different buttons here the first button is for calling some uh, extensions we can define this extension over the telnet protocol the second one also is for the some other things some other extensions we can also define it based on the telnet protocol you will see it in the next uh minute uh Actually, the third button, we define it as a DND, do not disturb button. And because it's a, some IP intercom device, for four button is using for actually unlocking door, for example, for some uh, IP based intercom. And this is the hang up switch. So here, I'm going to show you the code. You can see the code here. Actually, we rewrite our own CP stack and also our own actually TCP IP stack. You could see here, uh, you can see some uh, actually variables here. We are going to set some values and then program it to the board. Uh, I uh, mentioned some IP here, you can see it. And then I'm going to set some uh, items. Here is our SIP server IP. It's based on the Isabel. You know, we have some three, uh, three six, we have elastics, we have asterisk. So we're using Isabel as our SIP server. Uh, also, this is the uh, user extension for calling. This is the first button extension, 303 and 102. 102 is our IP phone and 303 is our also our intercom, the SIP based intercom with the other phone. So, it's compiled. Now, after that, let me check the device. Here is our uh, Isabel, you can see. Uh, so let's plug the device on. So basically I put the power here. Now, as you can see, the power let turn on, the Ethernet status let it start blinking, and the SIP also registration is set to start blinking too. So it means that device is not registered on the SIP server. So let's configure the device over the telnet protocol to make it device working based on the SIP protocol. So as I told you, 
we implement the telnet server on the device to set some settings on the device as you can see it here so device is now not registered to server as you can see uh, the, our extension is 109 here so first let me ping the device here mm -hmm. so it's still not reachable we have to wait It takes time because device is not uh, actually programmed. Just wait a minute. It will be less than a minute. It will be be up on our network. So, okay. Now device have ping. We implement the full stack TCP protocol on the devices. So I'm going to tell the device. Here we add the password. After that, we have three options here. So I'm going to option one to set a SIP account here. The username, our extension is 109. Our SIP server, as you can see here. Okay. So I'm going to save it. Now let's go back to the device and check also the ISO. Now, as you can see, the extension 109 is now registered. So let's check the device to check if the status is not working yeah the SIP registration status is now turned off so device is now registered over the network uh, if this video wheels reach at least 200k uh, we are going to open source the our CP stack SIP protocol stack it's based on the C language and also our the whole device PCB and the other devices so user would like to check it can also uh, actually uh, use those codes and create their own cheap intercom device it's really be so easy for them actually I'm going to describe also the hang up button because it's a handset we need to uh, actually uh, press it when we are going to do some actions now uh, let's check the quality and the voice and I'm trying to call from the IP phone and also the our outdoor video extension to check the video. Hello? No. 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 